Shocking Sex Confessions from Sex Addicts Sex addiction is not enjoyable, in fact, it's both dangerous and harmful. Those suffering from it know the struggle of being consumed by sexual thoughts constantly. This preoccupation interferes with their ability to focus on work, family, friends, and hobbies. Although sex is a significant aspect of life, obsessing over it and feeling a constant urge to act on these thoughts is unhealthy and a clear indicator of sex addiction. Here are some anonymous, shocking confessions from individuals grappling with this addiction. 1. Self-satisfaction. My partner used to finish so quickly that I had to resort to satisfying myself, even though I wasn't particularly keen on it. I began masturbating every time we had sex, which then escalated to at least once a day and eventually to two or three times a day. It progressed so rapidly that I found myself unable to stop. 2. Turned on easily. The strangest thing about my arousal is that I don't need to see a naked woman on screen or on my phone. When my mind drifts to sensual thoughts, simply seeing a clothed woman can turn me on. As odd as it sounds, I get aroused by fully clothed women, which leads to awkward erections all the time. This has severely impacted my social life. 3. Emotional Destruction Being a sex addict completely destroys your life. I was emotionally drained, my partner left me, I became estranged from my family, and received numerous warnings at work for my poor performance. I lost touch with who I was. Although I sought help, it ultimately depends on whether you are truly ready to seek it. 4. Happiness, from sex addiction. My sex addiction didn't harm me, instead, it made me more appreciative of my body. I came to accept and embrace my sexuality, which boosted my confidence and boldness, a significant blessing. The stigma surrounding sex addiction is real, but it isn't always harmful, as my experience demonstrates. 5. Drifts in Marriage My spouse couldn't satisfy me enough in our marriage, which was very frustrating. I've always been someone who enjoys pleasure, and having a partner with little interest in sex felt disheartening. Don't get me wrong, I love my wife, but I also need sexual fulfillment. So, I began having affairs and even visiting escorts. Although I knew it was wrong and was determined to stop, I couldn't. That's when I realized I was deeply addicted to sex. Types of love you will probably experience in this life. Most of us experience love at least once in our lives. It makes us feel beautiful, vulnerable, excited, and nervous all at once. But have you ever considered that love comes in different forms? It's true. For those who have fallen in love multiple times with different people, each experience may have been unique. If you're curious to learn more, here are the types of love you might encounter in your lifetime. 1. Erotic Love This type of love centers on desire and sexuality. It's intensely passionate and arises from physical attraction. You don't have to be in a romantic relationship to feel erotic love for someone else. Essentially, it's lust, a completely natural chemical reaction in the body. 2. Manipulative Love this type of love inevitably leads to suffering. In it, one or both parties are continually seeking to exploit the other. They manipulate and gaslight their partner, making them feel bad about themselves and trying to control their actions. As a result, both individuals often end up feeling lonelier than they did when they were alone. 3. Obsessive Love In this type of love, one person seeks to fill a persistent void in their life and heart through the relationship. These individuals often enter codependent relationships because they feel that they need their partner to be complete and whole. 4. Selfless Love This type of love happens when you give yourself fully to someone without expecting anything in return. It can occur when you volunteer for a meaningful cause or when you're in a relationship with someone you deeply care about. It represents a more spiritual form of love. 5. Platonic Love Platonic love can take on various meanings for different people, but at its core, it embodies companionship. This special kind of love typically involves your friends, who see all your flaws and still choose to remain by your side. 6. Self-Love 
It can be described as the admiration and kindness you have for yourself. It encompasses your confidence and self-esteem and is crucial for leading a happy and fulfilling life. Most importantly, you need to love yourself before you can truly love someone else. 7. Family Love The feelings you have for family differ from those you have for a lover or friend. They are profound and often unconditional, not influenced by a person's behavior or identity. Family tends to love you simply as you are. Ways of staying strong through divorce No one enters a marriage expecting it to end eventually. People typically look forward to a lifetime of companionship and togetherness, but reality often diverges from our expectations. Not all marriages endure, and many end in divorce, bringing with them significant pain and suffering. The absence of someone you've deeply loved and spent a long time with can be devastating. Here are some strategies to help you stay strong during a divorce. 1. Recognize that it took courage to divorce. Getting a divorce is far from easy. Many people stay in unhappy marriages due to fear, fear of being alone, facing change, or taking risks. Finding the courage to pursue a divorce requires a lot of bravery. Therefore, commend yourself for seeking a better life. The benefits of divorce will become clearer over time. 2. Let your emotions out. Divorce will take you on an emotional roller coaster. Beyond the feelings related to lifestyle changes, it may also bring up memories of loss, abandonment, and loneliness. Allow yourself to experience these emotions fully, let your tears flow. It's healthier to express these feelings rather than suppress them, as repressed emotions can resurface later and cause more damage. 3. Give yourself time to recover. Don't expect to overcome the pain quickly. Post-divorce distress will come in waves, and healing will be a gradual process with many stages. Allow yourself the time to grieve and remember to stay strong and positive throughout the journey. 4. Be kind to yourself. Yes, you may have made mistakes that contributed to the divorce, but dwelling on the past won't help. To stay strong through a divorce, it's important to practice self-compassion daily and treat yourself with kindness. 5. Start rebuilding yourself. Use the divorce as an opportunity to rediscover yourself. Re-engage in activities you had set aside because your partner didn't enjoy them or wasn't interested in joining you. Pursuing these interests can help you stay positive throughout the divorce process. 6. Take care of your diet and fitness. Even though you might feel like skipping meals and staying in bed all day, it's important to prioritize your health. This means maintaining a balanced diet and staying active. Make sure to eat nutritious foods, including fresh fruits and vegetables, and engage in regular outdoor exercise. Sunlight and physical activity can significantly lift your mood. 7. Travel. Traveling alone is an excellent way to cultivate a sense of fearlessness, which can aid in your emotional recovery from divorce. Plan a trip to a destination you've never visited before. Exploring a new place can help you stay positive and provide a fresh perspective. Additionally, taking a vacation to somewhere new will give you something to look forward to and inspire new dreams. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.